Hey science friends! In Max Einstein the Genius Experiment, Max's scientific endeavors lead her to a bit of trouble, but she calls on some Newtonian physics, namely Newton's third law, to help her with a diplomatic solution. What is Newton's third law? Let's head to the lab and find out. Well, we've already talked about Newton's first and second laws of motion, so this is bound to happen sooner or later. Let's see if we can't wrap our heads around Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For instance, let's say you push an object, like this one. As I'm pushing the object, the object is actually pushing back at me in the opposite direction, just as hard as I'm pushing it. Sure, it may not look like it here, but that's where this balloon comes in handy. Ta-da! I'm going to inflate this balloon and attach it to the paper towel tube that's threaded on this rope and show you Newton's third law in action. Three, two, one! As the balloon deflates, the stretched walls of the balloon push the pressurized air back out the opening. The air rushing out pushes back on the balloon, sending it flying in the opposite direction. Rocket ships use the same principle, but instead of air under pressure, they push burning rocket fuel out the back. The action of the fuel being forced out the back of the rocket causes the reaction of the rocket ship moving in the opposite direction. Take a look around for some examples of Newton's third law of motion in action for yourself. In the meantime, we're playing around with some of these spare balloons we got for this experiment. See you next time.